Hi, I'm Richard Atkinson. This video will discuss the D major fugue from Book 2 of Bach's Well-Tempered Clavier. It begins with a subject consisting of this five-note motif highlighted in red, answered by this four-note motif highlighted in green. This fugue is a remarkable example of economy or efficiency of thematic material, since in only 50 measures, the red motif appears 25 times, if you count the two shortened fragments and the one variant, and the green motif occurs an astonishing 110 times. Just looking at the highlighted score visually, you can see that the majority of the notes in the fugue are derived from its original subject. The green motif is not only part of the original subject, but also acts as the counter-subject in the exposition, and in Stretto with itself, it forms the episodes of the fugue, which are the normally less contrapuntally stringent transitional portions that typically occur between entries of the original subject. As I've explained in previous videos, a stretto is when entries of a fugal subject overlap temporally such that the second entry begins before the first has finished. In addition to the almost ubiquitous strettos of the green motif, the fugal subject, including both red and green motifs, enters with increasingly complex strettos. First, we hear two two-voice strettos, with the subjects entering one beat apart. Next, we hear two three-voice strettos, with the subjects entering only one half beat apart. And finally, the stunning climax of the fugue is this stretto involving all four voices, each entering one half beat apart. Now listen to the entire fugue. 